Merry Christmas, everybody. Guess who it is? It's Big E. That's who it is. From the Christmas room. Sure. Just wanted to say happy holiday season's greetings. Merry Christmas, if that's acceptable these days. I don't, I don't know. It's Christmas Eve. Yes, it is. And I just wanted to say thank you to my viewers, to my subscribers, to my members. I really appreciate the support that you've given me uh, in this journey of mine. It's been uh, it's been fantastic for me personally. Um, I mean that it's been uh, just. I've said this before so many times since I started this channel. It's been like this really wonderful therapy for me. It's been therapeutic. Just the narration, live streams that we've done, getting to know people. Many of you I, I would actually call my friends. And some of you have been with me for a very, very long time. Well, you know. We're, it'll be three years uh, in this April, uh, and some of you have been with me close to the beginning, and it's mind-boggling. It's wonderful. <laughs> One of my favorite things to do every day is read comments, uh, and it's I just love it. You guys have such positive, wonderful things, such funny things to say. Some of you are so funny. <laughs> it makes me smile. It makes me laugh. Um, so usually holidays, I'm by myself uh, because I live very far away from family and I don't really have... I have f some friends. And like I said, I feel like some of you are my friends, but obviously, you know, we... We don't hang out, unfortunately. However, I am not going to be alone Christmas Eve tonight, um, this evening. I'm going, I'm going to cook, help cook dinner with my landlord, who is my friend. It's going to be wonderful. I think we're just going to, we're going to cook crab legs and mashed potatoes and steak and listen to music and just talk and it's gonna I think it's gonna be great I'm just gonna spend a few hours over there and I'm really looking forward to it is this too loud it might be um, hopefully that's not too loud um, anyway I hope you're having a wonderful holiday I hope you have time off I hope it's with family and friends, and I hope it's about just being together and just sharing and laughing, stuffing your face, <laughs> you know, things like that. I miss things like that very much. And like I said, I consider, I've always said this is like the MMG family, right? The Misty Mount Gaming family. And I do feel like that with people who watch. And it's one of the things I love about doing, you know, YouTubing. I know it's, you know, sometimes when I say it out loud to somebody, yeah, I'm a YouTuber. How old are you? I'm 53. And you play video games. Yes. <laughs> well, I also work, but still. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for your support. It means so much to me. And the support that you give me means, helps me so much more than you know. It really does. Um, and I just wanted to say thank you, uh, and especially my members for choosing to do what you have done you know it's it's an emotional thing for me every time I think about it I say it out loud it just is and it's just I I don't know what else to say but thank you 
Um, so having said that, I'm not going to cry. <laughs> having said that, the Aquaphobic Mage Challenge. Kevin, if you were listening, dude, <laughs> I have screwed this thing up so badly, man. <laughs> It's been pointed out. Many people have caught it. I think Touch Me Nancy was the first <laughs> to say, hey, dude, I think you got a little too close to the water there. And I had literally, he left a timestamp. And when I checked it, I had literally jumped into the water. <laughs> That's not even the worst of it. There's a video coming out tomorrow. There's a video before that. Dude, I am... It is bad. <laughs> the video coming out tomorrow. Well, Kevin, I we have like personal correspondence through email. I let you know. <laughs> but people have caught other things. There's a video where the whole episode, it's raining. I'm not paying attention. It's raining. It, you know. I feel like I need to start this challenge over. My, like, in all the yarn, I was, in, like, I could get into it, and, and I was RPing it. The thing is, I've been so distracted. I'm not trying to make up excuses. I'm just trying to be honest. Like, this is how I failed the PETA challenge, because we were doing other things. I was so used to playing, like, the hardcore character. There was, like, three episodes a day I was doing, and I was just in the habit of killing everything and not thinking. <laughs> That's what happened. Kind of the same thing is happening here. I've screwed it up, man. I have really screwed it up, and it's killing me that I messed it up. Like, way unforgivable. <laughs> the undead mage Susie is so traumatized by me. <laughs> so, I, I'm letting you guys know, people who are following that, you are going to see me just not even realize, just not even paying attention. So I don't want to give too much away, but the episode coming out tomorrow. <laughs> at the beginning of the video, I'm saying how I screwed up, how uh, how Touch Me Nancy let me know, hey, dumbass. <laughs> you were literally in a fucking uh, lake. So I'm talking about that like, okay, like I'm going to get it together. I'm going to focus up. The whole last half of the video is a nightmare. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do here. I want to continue the challenge. And I, so there's videos coming out after Christmas where I acknowledge all of this. And there's a severe punishment. I'm not going to say what it is, but I got to get it together. Now... Kevin has given me leniency. <laughs> when you guys design challenges, you have to build you have to build in some kind of <laughs> system knowing that I'm going to mess it up. And for the most part, everybody has done that with me. <laughs> but anyway, I just I'm preparing you guys <laughs> especially newer viewers if they come on and it's like the aquaphobic mage challenge. We have this massive fear of water. And if they watch like a later video, they're like, is this guy swimming in a lake? <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's that. Um, we are getting so close on the troll hunter. I think we just hit level 57. This is as high as I've ever been. I mean, except for when I was hanging out with Snoop Dogg, then that was like, you know, fucking my, okay. Um, 57 is the max I've ever gotten a character. I had a dwarf paladin. I've mentioned him on the channel many times. I did, I was doing some videos. I was playing it mostly off camera. Ended up dying to an elite. He was level 57. I don't know how far, like how many bars, but this is as far high level as we've gotten. I think I can do it if I just focus. <laughs> That's a word I shouldn't use when, uh, when we're talking about a Let's Play's focus. Uh, Rip Travisine, his warrior. I was sorry to see that, man. If you happen to see this, Travis, I love what you're doing over there. Big fan. 
Um, he did lose the warrior and it's in a rough spot. It was in a, that's a rough spot. Even, even if those mobs are gray, you try running out of that place he was in, it's, you're going to get caught. And, and it, I was real sad to see it. He almost got away, dropped the target dummy. If you don't know who Travis Seen is, he's another YouTuber I follow. I've been following for a long time. We have some of the same people between us, I think. I've stole, well, I've used some of his users and he's used some of my users. <laughs> you guys are users. <laughs> the point is, he dropped a target dummy on his warrior and he had like five mobs, I think five, possibly six. I don't know how many mobs a target dummy taunts, but one of them wasn't taunted. He was trying to hearth out. He, I think, would have made it, but he had one mob come up to him and interrupt him, and then it was gone from there. But sorry to see that, Travis. Um, I don't know if you're going again. I know it's a lot of time. <laughs> it's a lot of time, especially as a YouTuber, when you're only recording like an hour a day or something. It just takes so long. I think right now on Beardfist, Time, total time played is almost nine straight days, nine complete days or something like that. Anyway, um, I know I have been saying this. I want to try to bring some of the other less plays back that we have, but I just need to finish the hardcore challenge. I have to finish it. And if I die before level 60, I got to be honest, I don't know if I have it in me. <laughs> to do this again i probably will but um so some of the other let's plays we were doing we have minecraft hardcore i think i had three or four episodes and then classic hardcore released uh snow runner which i was really liking we have snow runner we have skyrim now i have bad news about skyrim i upgraded my drive this is several months ago and somehow lost save, a save point. There's a save point in the game, but it's not this where I was. It's not even close, which sucks because we have gotten to a certain point. I was having so much fun getting into that character with, you know, RPing with NPCs. It's a lot of fun. I really want to bring that back, and we had people that were enjoying it. Um, Finn, probably... I don't know what I'm going to do with Finn. I think he's level 80. We were PvPing, and as you know, I'm horrible at PvP. It's fun to do, but it's not probably not fun to watch somebody like me <laughs> try to PvP. Mountain is probably, he's just, he's retired. He may come back eventually. Um, what else did we have? I feel like we had others. Well, she had City Skylines. I've been waiting for City Skylines too. Uh, I mean, it did release, but it released in such a terrible state. I was really disappointed. It got such horrible reviews. I mean, the game was barely playable by everything that I saw on Steam, and which is real disappointing because I was fo I followed their YouTube channel, and they were releasing videos every day, building this thing up. They were doing live streams, hyping it up, and then they released the game, and you could barely play it. It was so bad. I don't know if that's been fixed, but I want to bring City Skylines back. We were that was like a, on Sundays we were doing that. Um, what else were we doing? Can I? I threw it away. <laughs> Probably had some other stuff too. Um, anyway, I, I'm try, I'm going to try to get that back. But again, I I just need to get the character to sixty. Once I do that, then I'm going to be. I don't want to say free, but then I, we can start doing some other stuff again. Um, I am so enjoying The Last of Us. It is really good. It's so well written. I've said this in the game as I'm playing it. The voice acting is so good. It makes a, such a big difference to me personally in a video game. The way that they have the character models, their facial expressions, it's just in a phenomenal game. It's really good. I'm not good at it because I'm not good at any game. <laughs> I'm struggling. Well, I'm actually just now figuring out like nine episodes in or something how to quick change weapons and things like this. It's just not, I don't know, you know, I'm not good at in the best of times with key binds and things like that, but 
the story is is tremendous. It's emotional. It really pulls you into the characters, and I'm really into the game. Resident Evil, uh, the remake of Resident Evil Four was phenomenal. I can't wait to do another Resident Evil games uh, game. We have more games on the list uh, that were recommended. I want to do all of them. Um, so I guess this was a channel update, but more than that, this was just to say Merry Christmas to you and your family. Happy holidays. Enjoy the time that you have with your loved ones. It's important. And, um, you know, it doesn't have to be about gifts and, you know, all of that. But I guess that's part of it. I, I just hope you have good conversation. Give people hugs. Tell them that you love them. Tell them that they're important to you. Let them know that. Because, you know, especially if your parents are around and stuff, you know, people aren't around for a long time. Grandparents, um, it's important, especially this time of year, I, I guess. But once again, thank you so much for your support, for watching me and people I have regular commenters and it makes my day it does I don't really care too much about like how many views I've gotten I don't check things like that what makes me happy is if if I can make somebody laugh somehow or they get some sort of entertainment maybe I'm making mouth noises who knows what stupid stuff I'm doing <laughs> it makes it makes me feel good that I've connected that way with somebody maybe I'm playing horribly but I can make somebody laugh it just makes me feel good and the feedback that I get is incredible it makes me feel good so anyway that's it for me there may be a video tomorrow on Christmas Day we'll see I'm gonna be by myself I thought I was also going to be spending some time with Christina but I don't think that's a thing. So I'm just going to be sitting here by myself on Christmas Day, probably weeping in the corner like I do. <laughs> Maybe I'll choose a different corner and like mix it up, mix up my weeping. <laughs> Thank you guys and gals so much. I love you. Merry Christmas. I'll see you soon.